Hey, this is Anthony from Revzilla. Watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Revit Horizon 2 jacket available at Revzilla.com. This is the Horizon 2 standing on the shoulders of the original Revit Horizon. Now I dig it, and it's coming out for the spring of 17, and I actually hope it has a long and storied lifespan, because in my estimation, they've changed the right things about this jacket. The first thing I'm gonna call out is around the $400, you're nearly $100 less than the previous version. That always works from a attainability standpoint and from a feasibility standpoint for consumers. But when you get past the price, the big changes they made to this really true three to four season Touring, commuting, multi-season touring, it's just a great looking European styled multi-season jacket and pant combo, but what you have is the C-Flex CE Level 2 armor. This is a big trend in moto right now where we're seeing premium manufacturers come out with CE Level 2 rated limb armor. So shoulders, notice it's asymmetrical, it's proprietary, it's flexible, it breathes, it's temp stable, and you're also gonna have elbows. The, the pants are going to carry that rating as well. And that's a big upgrade compared to CE Level 1, which we've typically seen for years in limbs. CE Level 2 has only been a standard adhere to in the back. Now you're getting it at the limb level, and for Revit, they continue to roll out the C-Flex armor as they come down in price, which is a great thing covering more of their collection. The other thing, if you're thinking about this as a true three to four season coat, and remember, it has a full sleeve thermal removable liner, it has a laminated non-removable waterproof liner, it's Hydrotex, actually bonded to the material. But the cool part about it is if we look at the vents, when I think about hot weather summertime riding, I think about the previous version using the Aqua Defense System, which is this proprietary technology from Revit. What they had was a big TPR. It was a different configuration. It was harder to use. It didn't use this Fidlock magnet that just kind of sets it and forget it locks right in there. But if we look at this 3D mesh in the panel. So ultimately you're getting a best potential for airflow through this direct vent. And ultimately at around the $400 mark, we typically see a Z or floating liner making a jacket like this three season cold weather, fall, winter, spring. The fact that it's direct ventilation, there's a big direct exhaust vent on the back means you're getting true four season functionality. So again, depths of summer, heat wave, you can flow air directly through it. In the winter time, thermal goes in, you close all your flaps, you're fully waterproof, fully breathable, but again, you've sealed everything off. And that's ultimately coupled with the C-Flex level two armor and the price really in my estimation makes this a juggernaut in this range of multi-season touring, commuting, or again, it depends on how far you wanna stretch it. I would absolutely wager there's gonna be a handful of contingent of folks on Ducati Multistratus that are wearing this as well, because again, you could be a bit more aggressive in more of a blacked out combo as well. There's an anthracite dark version. The only real gripe I have with it, I have a couple small nitpicks, but the only real gripe I have with it is I think there's a contingent out there looking for the high-vis option, and that's missing. They used to do a high-vis option on the original Horizon, and they no longer have it. So again, Revit, if you're listening, give me a high-vis version of this for fall of 17. That would make me and a handful of riders really happy. Now, let's talk briefly about Fitment that we've got now that we have a gauge on some of the key changes and then I'll break it down completely. Think about Fitment, high fashion Brian. Yeah, you're doing your hair like that again for the fall. High fashion Brian is six foot, 195, 42 inch chest. He's wearing a size large. Notice that it's not overly baggy, not overly bulky. It's also not overly sporty. I called it a European style, but I would say that this cut is going to be a cut that's tuned for the American market. Hyvis Brian has an athletic build and he's working within this just fine. And you'll notice too, adjustability at the bicep, at the forearm, you have dual straps and we'll see that when you turn sideways along the waist to allow, this, allow you to cinch it down. You even have adjustability up here along the collar when you get into that five position adjustable snap. So again, they're thinking through the sizing and again, use the size charts, no surprises there. Ultimately, we're gonna ship for free, and I'd love to you click our logo, subscribe to us Revzilla on our YouTube channel, leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback on the new Revit Horizon 2. Now, let's take a step back and let's work through some of the other nuance. If we look at it, you have a nice reflective scheme here. You're looking really at something that's going to, a jacket and pant combo that are gonna be worn in more inclement weather and low visibility situations. Remember too, there's a full ladies version, which is a ladies ergonomic fit pattern, and it's gonna cover all the same options and protection schemes with the Horizon 2. They do make a ladies outfit. But if we dive back in here, you're gonna notice we talked about the big vent. Let's talk about these cargo pockets for a second. If we look at it, notice this flap right here. This is Revit doing a great job of listening to their customers because the previous Horizon had an issue at times in heavy downpours for an extended period. You might get a little leak right there. And what they've done is they've given you this flap just to keep everything in place. Because because ultimately that is a waterproof pocket. Now we did talk about a Hydrotex, waterproof and breathable. Will it breathe as much as Gore-Tex? No, it won't. It absolutely will not. But is it really a solid, waterproof, breathable membrane and it's bonded to the material? Yeah, it absolutely is. And remember, it's non-waterproof. That's why the direct ventilation scheme is such a big deal. Notice, you can use the Challenger high-vis vest 
here, you see it, these, these points of connection, so you're able to add that high-vis vest on after the fact. And if high-vis Brian puts his arm out here, we've already talked about adjustability in the bicep, adjustability in the forearm, basic spring-loaded snaps down here. But what we also have is, in my estimation, a little bit more of a simple adjuster. This hasn't really changed model over model that's going to be down here at the cuff. Now, the thing that has changed over the previous version, they've beefed up the materials. You're looking at a main construction, which is a poly, sh a Power Shield 500, which is a poly, but ultimately in the elbows and the impact areas, they've given you a 1,000D. That's a 1,000 denier. Again, so you're beefing things up where you're looking at really that trade-off between lightweight and then the crunchy, but ultimately more protective factor of heavier duty materials in those impact areas. And before I turn you to the side, HVB, I want to note here, we talked about this multi-position snap up here. This is a hallmark of Revit. Notice that it loops back, the collar loops back right there for hotter weather riding again because they're designing this jacket to be worn through the summer. Actually, I'm going to open this up. I'm just going to leave it up there so you can remember the fact that that aqua defense system lives there. But ultimately, if we look at it, it's laid out quite nicely. And in my opinion, it has a nice aggressive look to it. Turn face that way for me there, HVB. Now, now we look, notice a reflective that's baked in underneath the Revit logo. If you work our way down, you do have a pop of color. They gave you a pop of red. And remember, this is a full CE Level 2 C-Flex armor all the way down from the elbow down to the forearm. Now, if he raises his arm, one of the other cool things that Revit's known for is their engineered skin approach to things and the way they design. Notice there's a single piece of material under the armpit. A lot of times on other jackets, you'll see a four-way meeting or a junction of seams under the armpit just because there's a lack of other place to put them. What Revit's done here is they've made this more comfortable. There's less bunching. You're going to have less seams under there. Again, just thinking through the ergonomics of the piece. Here, here's the cinching that I was talking about. Now, if you go up to something like the Sand 3, which is the big brother, it's more adventure oriented. You can remove the waterproofing with a liner as well as the thermal. So again, you're getting that flexibility of the base layers. And again, they have that floating rail system here, which is going to allow you to slide the adjustability even further. So keep that in when you think about where you'd go if you want more technicality and more of an adventure orientation here from the Horizon 2. Now, HVB, turn backwards for me. This is what I was talking about earlier. Nice big back vent, which is not a passive vent. It's open and closable over a large piece of reflective. No back protector that's going to be included. You put a Seasoft type RV in here to go CE level two. But again, back to that back, that back vent for a second. Remember, that's a direct vent under a flap. So that is a full exhaust port coming directly from the body out of the jacket. And if we look at it, you're not getting a rabbit pouch. It's not the end of the world. They're not making this into this adventure jacket that has to carry everything. But again, you do have a nice drop seat considering this is a hip length coat. I'll also say as you come up here towards the top, notice the neoprene roll. They give you some of the nice little Revit touches with this TPR with the Revit logo on it. But again, I could care less about the logo. What I care about is the fact that if you get wet, if you're in an extended downpour, this isn't gonna chafe against your skin. This isn't gonna be some hard fabric against you. It's gonna be a nice neoprene neck roll. Come back around to the front for me. Let's open this bad boy up. If we look at it, if we start to pull it down. Notice rain gutter system to channel water away. Nice big Vislon zipper. That's a massive zipper, Napoleon pocket on the outside. And again, Revit's moved to these big Revit styled zipper pulls that are much easier to find with the gloved hand. I was I'm gonna open it up really quickly. If HVB opens it up, notice what they've done with the quilted liner. It now sits behind the main connection zip. So it's gonna block airflow, which is a really thoughtful touch. And if we open up to the inside, notice premium interior lining on your quilted liner. Notice here the Trico fleece liner, which is up here along the neck. Very, very comfortable. Hive is Brian, open that side up. If Hive is Brian opens this side right here, you're going to see that it's a circumferential zip. That's how you would remove the thermal liner. And if we look at it, it's a it's just the basic lightweight mesh liner behind that because if you have the liners out and you have the vents open, you want to get the best degree of circulation for hotter season riding on the inside. Plenty of pockets. There is a 360 degree zip. It's actually more of a 270 and then there's a short connection zip in the back as well. So again, I'm zip that guy down for you. You can zip it back up there, HUB. You have a lot of flexibility. So all in, what do we love about it? CE level two armor. We like the styling. They made it more breathable and the price came down. In my opinion, that is a big hit. And ultimately, we like the original Horizon, but this is a big leap forward. I believe this jacket starts to nip at the heels a little bit for those of you that might have looked at the Sand 3, but ultimately don't want the adventure technicality. You have a little bit more of a streamlined version here. We can do this guy and pull it down there as well. Go ahead, snap that up for me. So remember, the next step in your journey is click the info button, your desktop, your mobile device. Visit the product detail page at revzilla.com. Read other rider reviews on the new Horizon 2. Remember, there's a ladies version 
There's pants that are matching that HVB is absolutely wearing. So if you want to go with the full suit, you have the ability to do so. We'll ship for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877 9455 Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV for our opinion and his new hairstyles and the latest and greatest in motorcycle universe. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.